hey, this video is about how to create a duotone effect a con with the contrasting colors. And this effect is really popular right now. It's very modern. It's striking. It's bold. You're going to see it on websites, social media, pitch decks. And you can also find it, this person used it as a profile picture. And uh, you can you can actually pick different colors. So this one's like red and purple. This one is just purple. Um, this is just blue and white, blue and white. There's lots of other, there's lots of other ones too. You can just do a quick Google search duotone to get inspiration. So here we have red or red, pink, or sorry, orange, pink, and yellow, and that's an analogous color scheme. We have orange and blue here, which is complementary color scheme. And some of them, a lot of them just have one color. Like this one's just orange and black. This is just blue and black. This one's just purple, black, green, and black. So they're all different and um, they're all very interesting and they definitely make any design pop. So I'm going to show you three different ways how to do this. Two in Photoshop and two through just a website. Go ahead and open Photoshop. Once you have your image open, make sure the layer is unlocked. And scroll down to your masks and select Gradient Map. Now I'm going to put the the darker color here where the shadows are supposed to be and the lighter color where the light is supposed to be so it looks better. And that's um, essentially it. You can just add the colors here. It's great to go with a color that's complementary or very striking if you want to use more than one color. So orange is the opposite of blue. You also do like a analogous theme. And if you don't like any of the colors, you just hold down and drag to remove it. Once you're okay with that, you can just press okay, or you can even browse through Photoshop uh, already existing designs that they give you. So I really like, uh, I really like this one. But it needs to be darker. This is a cool effect. So Photoshop already has a bunch you can check out. Once you're done, you can also add a contrast layer to make it even more distinct. Once you're done, you're ready to export it. So that's gradient maps. The second one I'm going to show you is duotones. Now, you're going to go to image at the top, adjust, or sorry, mode grayscale. From there, you're going to go back to image, you're going to click mode, do a tone. And it's essentially making the same color scheme as before. But the benefit of doing do tones is that you can select Pantone colors and um, what this means is you're pretty much guaranteed that your your this color and how it looks on Photoshop will be exactly how it's printed. So with the gradient map, we we can't we can't make sure that that that's going to be exactly like when it's printed. But with uh, the duotones, we can. So that's the benefit of using um, the duotones instead of gradient map. You can also adjust the levels. 
I do feel like with the duotones you have a little bit more um, control and the effect is a little bit more, um, what's the word, more like chic or just more smooth I guess. Um, maybe more subtle. Whereas the gradient maps, it seems very um, in your face. So you can decide which preference you like. The final method I'm going to show to you is um, basically the cheating way. <laughs> and you go to duotone.shapefactory.com and you can just upload your image. You click upload. Or you can just search Unsplash and you adjust the colors. So I have used both. I have used this in Photoshop and what I've noticed is when you download this, it doesn't look as good when you download it. And I have noticed that Photoshop does do a better job than this website. However, if you don't have Photoshop and you just want to do something quick, this is a really great option for you. So I hope that this video was helpful and that it made you feel more inspired to do this design and ha learn how to do it yourself. Subscribe to YouTube channel. I'm going to be coming up with more design trends and stay tuned.